Hey Zan, it's been a long time. I've been sick, probably had a COVID, but now I'm back. It's been a month since I was here last time. I'm uh, slowly getting back, uh, feeling better. Today I want to talk about uh, gain staging. There's a lot of talk about gain staging online. The information is not always correct. Uh, some people believe you don't need to, because it's digital, you don't need to take any consideration about gain staging. Uh, however, I look at it in a different way. When we talk about gain staging, one might think, oh, as long as I don't hit the red when I'm going into the DAW, I'm fine. There's some truth to that. If you're gonna just go into the computer, and you're not gonna use any analog hardware uh, emulated plugins, then that's ca that could be true. However, there are two measurements that we're talking about here. In the analog world, we're talking about line level signal. All the rack gear that I have, they, it want to be hit with a line level signal. That means plus four dBU. When we're measuring decibels in the DAW, we're measuring in dBFS, which stands for decibel full scale. Now, the difference between these is when you're going plus 4 dBU, line level signal, in the analog world, that equals zero. And above zero, that's when you're starting to get a lot of good distortion, uh, harmonics and stuff. While you're in the DAW, it will sound really awful if you go above zero. Because it's a full scale, where the zero is the top. In the analog world, there really isn't a top. It just get more and more and more distorted the higher we go. In the analog world, they have decided that plus 4 dB units, decibel units, equals 0 dB VU. So in, on a VU meter, when you go to 0, that's equal to a line level signal. Now, if you're going into the computer, when you're taking a line level signal into the computer, you're going to hit at uh, minus 18 dB full scale. So in order for the analog world and the digital world to talk to each other correct, you need to stay at minus 18 dB full scale in your DLW. Okay, so perhaps it's just when we're mixing a hybrid. No, it's not. Because if you're using plugins that emulating hardware, the analog hardware wants a line level signal. And so do the plugin that's emulated to the hardware. Whether it's a 1176 compressor or LA2A or SSL channel strip or whatever. As long as it's analog emulated hardware, the signal that it wants to receive is plus 4 uh, dBU. Which means in the digital world, minus 18 dB full scale. If you're hitting it harder than minus dB FS, it will distort. And it could be kind of subtle, as of course it is with the analog hardware. <clears throat> but before you know it, if you have like 40 channels going through analog emulated plugins, it will distort and you will not have enough headroom and all your mixes will sound squished and distorted. This took me years actually before I learned this. My, my mixes was always distorted and I couldn't understand why my mixes were so squashed. I mean, it wasn't like I was using a lot of compression on the master bus or anything. It just, it distorted and it felt like I didn't have enough headroom. Everybody else mixes were like, it, it, had, it, it was breathing and it felt good. You can just oh, calm down when you listen to it. But mine was like hard to listen to and... But I didn't hear it when I was mixing. I, I heard it later on when I took it outside and listened in the car or home stereo or at Francis' house or whatever. The first thing I ever do when I mix before I do anything, uh, I don't even have to listen to the material. The first thing I do is I select all the tracks that I'm going to mix and then I normalize it in my DLW. I'm using Logic Pro. Uh, I'm sure you can do the same in whatever DAW you're using. But I'm normalizing it to minus 18 peak. Uh, all the files. And after that, I just stick to it. 
So every time I'm using a plugin, I mean, if I use a compressor, I use the makeup gain. So it's still, after the compressor hits, it's still minus 18 dBFS. And when you're summing all of these tracks, of course, on the master bus, it will not be minus 18 dBFS. It will be much higher than that. So then I start the master bus with a gain plugin and I reduce it down to minus 18 because I want to use either hardware, real analog hardware, or I want to use analog emulated plugins on the master bus. Either way, they want to be hit with the line level signal. They don't want to be hit too hard. Unless you want a lot of distortion, then it's fine. So let's recap a little bit. If you're a hybrid mixer, you're going uh, from the door out into analog gear. You need to go out from the door, minus 18 dB full scale. You're coming out of the door, that means you're hitting your analog equipment with, with line level signal, which is plus 4 dBU. Then you have to check it that, that when you're going into the computer back again, that it still is plus 4 dBU or minus 18 dB full scale. So it's the same kind of signal that's going in and out. The key here is in the analog world, line level signal equals plus 4 dBU, or if you're looking at a, a VU meter, it's at zero. That's, this, that's a line level signal. And in the DAW, it's minus 18 decibel full scale. If you're doing this, then you have a lot of headroom. It will not distort. It would just sound good. So until next time, hit the like button, subscribe. We'll meet again soon. Bye.